Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 24 Area and Perimeter Exercise 24A Question 7. And this is a floor measuring 7 meter by 2.8 meter is to be covered with square tiles measuring 35 centimeters. How many tiles will be needed, right? So see, if this is my floor, right, this much part here is my floor. 7 meters by 2.8 meters right now in this floor i have to put several tiles right suppose i have i have put one tile like this over here so and the dimensions measuring is 35 so this tile is a square right and each of its side is of 35 centimeters right so you see that we have to tell that what is the number of tiles that can be put in your uh, floor right so for that what we will need to know is the entire area of the floor including this tile every single thing so area of the floor is required what else is required is that area of the tile right so area of the floor area of the tile two things we have to calculate and after that we will divide area of the floor by the area of the tiles do uh, using this method we will be able to find number of tiles which are required right so you see here it's going to be very simple see first of all we will uh, we know the dimensions of the floor right so area of the floor right area of the floor right so what will the area of the floor be see this is 7 meters into sorry not meters right just remove the units for now because we are doing calculations, right? So, 7 into 2.8, right? This will be the area. So, see, uh, 7 into 8 is 56 and 5, 14, 19.6, right? 19.6 what? Square meters, right? Now, this is the area of the floor. And, but one more thing we have to see, the units, right? See this? that the square tile is of centimeters the dimension of square tile is in centimeters but the dimension of the floor is in meters and area also is in meters so we will convert this area which is square meters into what into square centimeters right so one thing we need to know is the conversion so see here that uh, one meter has what how many centimeters hundred centimeters so one square meter will have how many centimeters 100 into 100 right if we put square here then here also it will be squared right so 100 into 100 so this much is in one meter right one square meter has 100 into 100 centimeters and if i talk about uh, so basically let me just multiply this so 1000 right centimeters okay square centimeter sorry here and here also now you see that this is the relationship and if i replace this one with our total area that is 19.6 square meters so what will we do here simply if here it was one square meter and it was 10,000 square centimeters so when it is 19.6 square meter it will be 19.6 into 10,000 square centimeters okay that will give us what 19 and 6 right how many zeros 4 so 3 places more right here it will come and this will be the area that is what 19,000 sorry 196,000 uh, square centimeter right this becomes our total area of the floor right so simply uh, in one meter there are 100 centimeters so one square meter will have 100 into 100 square centimeters so one square meter has 10,000 square centimeters and if we talk about 19.6 square meters so simply multiply 10,000 by 19.6 you get the number of square centimeters now uh, now second thing we need to find is what area of the uh, this tile one tile right so area of one tile becomes what 35 into 35 right so this will be what let's do the multiplication here okay it doesn't matter where i do so 35 into 35 becomes 
5, 25 and 2, so 175, 15, 110, right? 5, 12, 1, 2, right? 1, 2, 2, 5, okay? 1, 2, 2, 5, what square centimeters? So 1225 square centimeters. Now, now number of tiles. Moving on to the last step, right? So number of tiles. What is it going to be equal to? Area of floor. Upon area of one tile, right? This is what we will do so that we get the number of tiles. So put the values now. Area of floor is 196 triple zero and area of one tile is 1225. Okay, let me cancel this by 5, 2, and 4, 42. 85 right here it will be 3 4 9 2 double 0 again cancel this right so after doing all the cancellation we get 160 right so 160 tiles can be put uh, on the floor right how uh, 160 tiles are going to be needed to cover the entire floor this becomes our answer and friends this is all for today, if you are new to my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one. Till then, take good care of yourselves and bye-bye.